Hey guys, and welcome back to more Dayman 1998. Let's go. Chapter 4. So now it's Sam's adventure through the uh, rotten streets of Keen Sight. So what we what do we have uh, left? Eh, right, we got oh, we're actually doing pretty good with Sam, actually, which is nice to know. Plenty of health. All right, cool. Let's start exploring the mean streets A hey, of Keen Sight. So they they basically reused this area, uh, and you know that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Evening. We do go to some different areas, I believe. But we shall cover that as we get there. Ah, no. We're back to playing as Sam. That means we get um, Daymares. Which I still really don't like. The weird kind of um, enemies and stuff that aren't actually there. But, you know, I guess it's not. It's not like a massive deal. But I'm not a huge fan of it. I think it's more to do with the fact that how they did it, really. Because there's absolutely no tell that an enemy is a uh, vision. Um, but whatever, I guess. Let's make sure we grab everything we can. We've got a candy bar. That's cool. We don't call them candy bars in the UK, so I have no idea why I said that. But we now have a, a chocolate bar. <coughs> Seems pretty good out here. Lots of towels. Could probably have a nice bath. And it is August 1998. Happy birthday something. And that's where the... Uh... Oh. I have prepared for this. Let's go for two. Two. Too, I believe. Yep. Nice. So what does that give us? Hang on. But oh no, 44 Magnum rounds. Uh, sure, I guess. So my treasure, I've been waiting all night hoping that you'd come back. When I lost you in the crowd under all that chaos, I assumed you'd head to our laundry now. Though I can't wait any longer. When all of this started, I'm sure Vince was uh, was at the arcade, like he always was. It's not fair. I think I can do this. I'm not sure he escaped somehow. I just have to find him and get him to safety. I'd leave you this note in case you show up here in the meantime. I'm hoping that we'll all be together soon, darling. You're George. Well, George, I hope it worked out for you. You know. But I have my doubts. Just just being realistic, man. Ooh. Just being realistic. Sorry. Don't want to give anybody any false hope here. That's the church's job. Now let's continue. Evening. Well, it's a lively night, isn't it? Whoa! A very lively night. <clears throat> Let's keep moving. Plenty of things going boom. Ooh! Lucky guess! Really? A couple of those shots definitely should have hit. Ooh! Energy drink. Don't mind if I do. And yep, I remember there being some bullets down here as well, which we absolutely are going to be taking. Because we like bullets. As long as they're going into zombies. 
or enemies in general. Keep the bullets away from the children. Nice. Some more shotgun shells. I kind of, I, I do find it a bit unusual that um, the two guys got the same shotgun because they get a different magnum and they get a different handgun. It's a little detail, but I do find it a little bit odd. Really? I thought there was more down here than just one standard zombie. Ah, right. Of course. That old jape. Now, we can't go underground like we could with our friend Raven. And I'm actually glad about this. Like I said, it's no secret. The underground section really wasn't my favourite. Um, <clears throat> I just think it's just a boring area, you know. My favourite area in this game is this city. I think they did a, actually a reasonably good job of making it feel, uh, you know, like a reasonably good city. I mean, it really does feel kind of like Raccoon, which is always nice. I mean, that's the highest compliment I can give to the developer, really. You know, they wanted to copy Resident Evil. Um, or not, no, that's a bit unfair. Not necessarily copy Resident Evil, but they wanted to have their own spin on Resident Evil. And, yeah, I think they success. They, they succeeded in a way. Oh, you little fucker. You absolute moron. I thought he was around that corner. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Can I have a gun, please? Thank you. I was not expecting you, sir. Also, he actually made me jump. Actually made me jump. I think that's about the fourth time I've jumped on camera in my decade-long YouTube career. Nah, I think we're fine. We don't need to heal up. Ah. Right, we'll be out here. Ah, yeah, that's just, yeah. Um, I don't think there's any particular reason for us to come back here, but although, notice how the weird protective shielding that was here first time around has disappeared. And... Nope, there's still one missing. Right, now, let's have a little look what we've got going on in here. Uh, we do have one of you, which we shall take. We shall put... Put you back. Um, we'll put the magnum rounds back as well, just because we can. We've got two packs of bullets here that could be combined into one. We'll mix that up. And yeah, I think that should be good for us right now. I don't think we found any more ID tags. We'll check that in a second, of course. Um, 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 um right, you. Go into you. What was our health? 70%. I guess we'll chew that down. Cool. Right, we don't need two healing items on us. And that should do it. We'll be on our merry little way. Come on, Samuel. Oh. Well, how about that? You know what? We'll keep it. We'll keep it. And if we have to use it, we'll use it. Ah, it's locked. Maybe with the right key. Okay, we shall endeavor to try and find the right key. Is that a real zombie? That is a real zombie. Son of a bee hatch. You gotta watch out for those real zombies, guys. Pretty sure somewhere you can search some. Some herbs and it comes up saying some bullshit like it's green herbs the explosion affected the entire office yes it did Sam the explosion was terrible luckily the explosion allows us to f luckily as if by magic find the exact key that we need in all the rubble come on there we go office is closed 
No overtime allowed today. I know there's more. I can hear you. Come on. That's it. While we're young. There we go. Silly zombie. Silly zombie. Fool of a took. Yeah. Clear out some of this inventory. Much, much better. Now, yeah, we don't have a mineral to combine that with, but that's fine. You know, let's make sure we've got our shotgun out for now. How much shotgun ammo do we have? Are we good for shotgun ammo? Oh, dear. Yeah, we've got like nearly 30 shells. We're fine. We have 29. That should keep us going for quite some time. Let's have a little poke around in the warehouse. Oh my. What do we have going on in here? Zombies, apparently. Oh, we definitely want the shotgun. Right, back into the corner. Hold! You're out of here. You are potentially not dead. Yeah, I don't like the way he's moving. Right, he might be dead now. <clears throat> I guess we'll find out in the not too distant future. Right, what have we got around here? In case of fire, in case of fire what? What are you going to do? Ooh. Perfect. Oh, it's an energy bar. Do we want an energy bar? Yeah, I guess we could. Hello. Oh, I thought we was, we'd uh, read all these. Um... So that's O six one. Oh right. Here we go. Doctor's diary. Yeah, because of course these aren't actually in order, are they? Silly me. I don't believe it. How on earth could this have happened? Somehow we managed to escape from whatever the hell that gas is. I. Th Thought I'd found a safe place to hide, but the lunatic proved to be more dangerous than the things running around outside. He just melted away with his gun glued between his fingers. I tried to pry it free, but the gun went off and hit my daughter in the abdomen. Uh, oops. Right. Uh, now I'm trying to treat her the best I can. I'd go out for supplies, if not the uh, for the inherited danger. I can't see myself e ever leaving her side. She's my daughter, after all. Even if I have to die of starvation in here, this whole thing is unbelievable. It's like some bizarre nightmare I had when I found myself locked in a place like this and everybody turned into monsters. I think I was talking to a woman and I told her how dangerous it was to leave. How my daughter died so unpleasantly and now, in a near catatonic terror, I can't differentiate between that dream and the reality. I just want to fall asleep next to her, savouring the sound of her last laboured breath, then slip into a different dream where none of that actually happened. Alright, well, you know, it's quite an interesting little log there. Um, so he tried to... It looks a little bit like Dario. Why is his shirt undone? Whatever. Um, yeah. So he tried to pry the gun, which we have no evidence of, and he shot his daughter in the gut. Oofed. Pretty, pretty unfortunate there, Chief. Could have happened to a nicer bloke, I'm sure. Still, at least you have to worry about, uh, of course, you have to worry about all this other nonsense that's going on now. You're at peace of sorts. 
So, I guess we are going down, down, deeper underground. Hey! Excuse me. Where? What the fuck? No, no, no. No, no, no. Wait, did she... Did she just appear down here? That was naughty. There was nobody... There was no zombies in the elevator with us. And then all of a sudden... Cool game. Cool. That's fine. We'll have these shells. And the H additive. Because why the devil not? Come on, you. Ah, oh, you're a fakie. Unbelievable. Just throw a Z at us like that. Uh, 52 health. Let's eat the other candy bar. Alright. Energy bar. That's a strange thing to call them as well, I guess. Hey. Revolver, Calibre, 44 ammo box. Price, $49. Thank you for your purchase. There's something scribbled on the back. 222. That's the code. For the uh, locker all the way to back. The way back at the beginning. We are absolutely not going all the way back to the beginning. Because we've already got it. Come on, you. In my first playthrough, this woman was acting a little bit, um, strange. But, that's fine. She died pretty easy this time around. Uh, combine. I suppose what we could do... Just keep freeing up some inventory. There we go. <coughs> cool. That work. What was that? Oh, shotgun shells. Can't believe I nearly left those behind. As much as I want to play full life. And apparently, we're getting close to a Half-Life announcement in real life. If we believe the rumours. Which is pretty cool. Still want to play Half-Life Alex. I don't believe what I see. I grew up in this neighbourhood. <laughs> you did? Be afraid. Can't search any of these. Right. What's that there? The Metacortex has you. Oh no. Yeah, want to play Half-Life Alex. The only trouble, obviously, with that game is you need a VR headset to play it. Uh, sorry, Valve. Uh, I'm just not committing that much money to play one game. I'm not I'm not actually completely sold on VR as it is. I've tried bits and pieces of it. It's it's alright, but I'm not a hundred percent sold. Let's go check the gun shop out. Come on, love. Smile for the camera. There you go. Let's get those pearly whites extracted. See we could like grab a knife, we've got axes here. We've got all sorts of cool stuff. Lots of bullets. Anything else? Pretty sure there's other stuff here. Oh, we can't do that again. Ah! More bullets. Oh, magnum ammo. Excellent. That is not too shabby. Right, cool. I guess it doesn't seem like there was a huge amount of stuff in there, but you know handful of bullets and whatnot. Yep, I'll take it. I'll take it over a kick in the bollocks any day. Okay. Any more zombies? Not quite, not yet. Let's go open up the super secret area. See if there's anything in here for Sam. There is. Cool. Is it just that? 
I mean, we've literally just picked up a humongous pile of handgun bullets. Quite ludicrous, in fact. But, you know, hey. Waste not, want not, and all that. So that's... I think that's the way we've got to go. So what happens... If we go the wrong way? At least... Thought as much. Ooh! Now, usually in this game... Like, if there's two ways to go, then you have to go both ways anyway. Choice. Free will. It's all an illusion, folks. Oh, hello. You're not meant to eat it. To keep your hair wet, mate. To keep your hair dry, I should say. Although I am getting the feeling this is probably the right way to go. Come on. Stop shaking your head. There you go. Hey. Yeah, this is a questionable place. I'm guessing we're either going to find a key item or we're going to get to a point where it's like, uh, you need a key item. Ah, here we go. Green herbs. Whatever could that be a reference for, guys? Help me out here. Ah, no, that, yeah, this is the right way to go. I remember. Nothing gets past me. So, what happens if we go the other way? It's probably, like, blocked off by some bullshit or something. Let's have a little peep, shall we? Let's have a little gander. What is on other side? Timothy... The flight ancient enemy. Uh, yeah, yeah, you gotta gotta watch out for that, Timothy. Uh, ri I wasted your time and my time, to be fair. Well, if nothing else, that makes this bit a little bit simple. Not that this game is ever complicated or challenging or difficult in any way. <clears throat> All aboard the murder bus. Anything interesting on the murder bus? Does not look like it. That guy's like... Or that girl, she's... She's doing something with her face. We're not going to ask questions. Because that's not really what we do around here. We just don't ask questions, guys. To be honest. It's none of our business. We just look. We observe. We move on. That's just how we do it. Around these parts. Evening. It's not supposed to go straight through your head. Although, I guess, actually, when you think about it, it's supposed to go straight through your head. It's just supposed to pass some fleshy, soft material first. Nothing. I guess you're all just hanging out. Not guarding nothing. I don't believe it. No, sir. Hello. Hi there, love. Ah, of course. Big bada boom. We've got the pub. Go examine the pub in a second. I guess there's nothing here. Ah, hello. Looks like we've got a bit of a zombie situation going on. Well, that's okay. Are you dead? You are dead. Right, come one, come all. That's it. Oh. Oh. 
Well, they're not all a figment of our imagination. Just, you know, most of them. I mean, who cares about ammo preservation anyway? Am I right? Sit down, sir. Are you this Timothy that we've heard so much about? Sit down. Thank you. Ah. Well, we've got a health fluid out of it, so it ain't all bad, I guess. And I have to start using the uh, good stuff soon. A shame, right? Hello. Oh, he was a live one. Are you good growling at me, mate? I can do worse things to you than shoot you with a handgun. I can assure you of that. Right, let's go back to the bar. Go check that out. See what we can find. At least, oh, an energy drink. I mean, sure. We'll definitely be having that. Get ready for some close quarters action. Evening. No, 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 no. Ooh. Yeah, very difficult to avoid that spit when it's that close. Get out of here. That will do. Oh, it's like the military had a bit of fun down here. Yink. Definitely going to need that valve handle. There's the DeLorean again as well. Not sure if it's like... This... Ah, oh, shit! I know what you did last summer. Nice. I remember what you're supposed to do. Back in the garage when I said you had to um, examine the DeLorean. You don't. You don't examine the DeLorean itself. Uh, the flux capacitor from the DeLorean is on a table somewhere. Literally just popped into my brain. Let's say. Still, it is one of those things. Miss Cheryl, I leave you this important notes. I leave you this important notes. Plural. After tidying up Mr. Sakamura's usually occupied room, I found a set of keys under the furniture. He must have dropped them last night on his way back from the restaurant. I wonder why such an influential figure in the food business would rather sleep in a hotel than at home. But if I had to guess, I'd wager he likes the idea of having a lady clean up after him. I hope you'll be a dear and let Mr. Sakamura know about uh, about I found the keys, <laughs> as he's surprisingly generous when it comes to rewarding stuff. Please let me know if I can be of any assistance tomorrow during the Apple Blossom Fair. Kathy. Or as we say to our supervisors and managers when they ask us to go the extra mile, fuck off. Oh, hello. Don't do favours, kids. You do what's written in your contract and nothing else. Ooh. Damn. Guy's been pretty well hosed. Come on, love. You really want this, don't you? Shame. Inventory is full. This is not good. Wow, that must have been a humongous pack of bullets. Well, we'll use that and we'll use that. Because, uh, and we shall use that. Oh, right, it's already mixed. Because we need the stuff. Uh, I guess we're going to start using our handgun again. Um, just because we need to. Because we have so much ammo for it. 
and it just seems to be a hell of a waste to, you know, throw it all away. Let's keep going. Exploring. Searching. Pushing the boundaries ever forward. Oof. Oof. Ah. Right, this is... Oh, this is Sightseer's Diary. Okay. Um... August 18th, 1988. Evening. My nanny and grampy were the ones who first told me about Keen Sight, a special little town hidden away in the backwoods of Idaho. They were world travellers who had seen it all, yet this small American town with a population of just a few thousand had somehow managed to capture their hearts. Believing their extraordinary tale was not easy for me since I, too, lived in a special place called Boston. It wasn't until the summer of 94 that I actually decided to go there. In hindsight, I can't imagine trading summer break at university for the sticks of Idaho, but once I arrived, I knew the gamble had paid off. Mind you, the long journey by bus had me doubting my own decisions. Until the forest wall thinned around me and I opened up into a picturesque landscape that perfectly encapsulated my hopes and dreams. Like every year, I'm on the edge of my seat. It's just past ten now and I should be arriving early tomorrow morning with nothing left but nap time, and I hope that my grandparents would be in my dreams tonight. Uh, all right, dude, calm down. So, next day, August 19 morning. Here at last, the old keeper who runs the hotel is so adorable. He even, look, uh, he even booked my usual room for the four-day celebration. The smell of pines, the scent... Scented bed, sheets. It's like I never left. We all stayed here during my first visit. Even though Nanny and Granny had been regulars for years, I've been coming to this place in their memory in hopes of carrying on a family tradition to somehow thank them for the best summers of my life. I can't wait to go shopping downtown and buy an outfit for the apple blossom and book a mountain bike, uh, mountain hike. I have a swimming I have a swimming in the lake and enjoy total relax for all these four days. Now that is a sentence. I have a swimming in the lake and enjoy total relax for all these four days. Wow. Anyway, next morning, August 20th. I don't know what to do with myself. This is the only thing I can think of. What the fuck is going on in this city? The streets were packed, the fair was in full swing, and then... When the fireworks went off, a helicopter came out of nowhere and almost crashed into the buildings. Even though the sound of fireworks... Uh, there was no mistaking that explosion somewhere in the mountains. Before I knew what was going on, a weird green cloud uh, appeared in the streets. Anybody who got too close got poisoned or something. People went nuts and started attacking each other whilst everyone was trying to escape. After that, I don't know how long exactly. I found the hotel basement to hide in. I don't know how much time has passed... And I can hear shouting outside. People with guns and creepy footsteps on floorboards above me. I have to stay quiet in hopes that crazy ass psychos don't find me down here. August 20 evening. I finally made it to my room. A group from that nasty ass crowd tried to get me, but some, but I somehow got to the door and locked just in time. I think I recognised the, the old hotel keeper among them. Or what was left of her. His eyes were vacant. Wait... All what was left of her, and then goes on to describe a him. I know we're in 2023, but damn. His eyes were vacant, milky, and his skin looked wrong, diseased, and not just because of all the blood. They tried hard to break down the door, but couldn't get in. After a while, they went away. All was silent until the fighting outside began. I followed, followed by the roar of engines, and then voices. It was the army. I was just about to scream and flail my arms out the window like some damsel in distress when I witnessed the most awful thing. Some of the army types who rescued a family got on their walkie-talkies and then turned around and shot them all dead. What the hell was all that about? I used to think this place was paradise, but now it's more akin to hell. I don't know what to think anymore. I don't even care that those same dirtbag soldiers got attacked themselves soon after. In fact, I'm glad they got a taste of their own medicine. Today I've seen men who look like monsters and monsters who look like men and I can't trust anyone anymore. I think I'll rest here for a bit and try to escape. 
through the forest and into the mountains. I wish I never came to this horrid place. All I want to do is get out of this nightmare and be home in Boston. Okay. Kind of an interesting log. I like that one. Uh, obviously, she didn't get very far. <clears throat> Shame. You know. Nobody wants to go on holiday and die, I guess. Unless you're going on holiday to die, I guess. Then that would be a completely different thing. Yank. Inventory is full. Of course it is. Uh, right. Son of a bitch. I guess we'll drop the four bullets. Yink. And of course, because we did a thing, we beat the boop. Zombies! Come on, masses of shambling dead. Right. That's you gone. I was going to say, I know there's more than one of you. In fact, I want to say there's three of you. No? Okay. Fair enough. Right, now let's get out of here. We have the key that we came for. And now... Oh, we're clear. And now... Where are you? There you are. I thought there was more of you. There we go. And now, let's get back to where we were. Go back to the main street. Hey, Red. How are you hanging? Plenty of... <laughs> this is just like a shopping cart full of batteries. Because, uh, why not, I guess? Right, we're looking good. Looking good. Have we really been recording for nearly 40 minutes again? Good God, man. Time really does fly when you're having fun. Alright, now let's get up here. I enjoyed that log, actually. About that woman being murdered. Well, actually, technically, she didn't get murdered. Uh, I think she just died. I, I don't know. I mean, she looked mutated, so she's probably been breathing and huffing the gas. But, um, yeah, pretty cool. Right, let's have a look, see what's going on in this restaurant. Oh, flaming zombie. My favorite kind of zombie. Zombies that sterilize their own. He should be dead. Yeah, they don't burn out, unfortunately. Which I'm not super um, happy about. I always like enemies that kind of burn, burn out. Oh, I remembered her, but I didn't remember she was a figment of our very imagination. Shame. Oh, more bullets. You see how much ammo this game gives you, though? Bloody hell, it's like, it really is hard to use all of your ammo. Uh, and like, the enhanced ammo you get is... You just never really get the opportunity to use it. Admittedly, the enhanced handgun bullets... They don't really seem to do an awful lot. Hey, Red! You right there, Chief? They definitely could have made the average zombie take significantly more than one bullet. Or at least make, like, every zombie get up. You know. I think that would probably be my criticism. Or the best way that I would suggest improving the situation. Now. 
closed, but maybe with the right key. Yep, this is a very easy puzzle. In fact, the solution for it is right there. So we need to turn these so the white lines line up with what they should be up here. Probably the easiest puzzle in the game. Uh, admittedly, this game does have some doozies of puzzles. But that one, yeah, that one not so much. Alright. And we've got some more things here. Inventory is full. Ugh. Ugh. What we're gonna do, what we're gonna drop. Ooh. We can combine that. We can eat that. Alright. That actually worked out quite well. Actually. Uh, we got like three single use health things. Ugh. I don't really want to have to waste them. I say waste them, you know. It's not like we're running out or anywhere close to running out, so I guess if need be we can actually just use one. Now we recognize this area, don't we? I don't think I actually tried going upstairs. Back into the Daymare area. The what are they called? Invader Studios? I like this place. Not sure if there's anything up here to find. Oh, we're on like 45 minutes, guys. I am going to cut this one off here. Because <laughs> we've been going for quite a while. So thank you very much for watching. When we come back, we're going to continue exploring this. And then get the hell out of Dodge.